should MSs have MRI scans? How often should they have scans? Well, they obviously need to have a scan in the beginning of the disease to make the diagnosis, and that's what we call a diagnostic scan. And contrary to what people believe, the scan is really not done to make the diagnosis. That's usually that's made clinically uh, and with other tests. The scan is really done to exclude other conditions that can mimic MS. So that's what we are, why we do the diagnostic scan. And so everybody needs to have a scan. Uh, when people are further on in the course of their disease and they may present with progressive illness, so say worsening of walking and everything like that, uh, I like to do a, a, another scan just to make sure they don't have another pathology, another disease. Uh, I'll never forget a case I was involved in while I was still training, um, a, a man who presented with uh, progressive worsening of his gait. And everybody just said oh, he's got secondary progressive disease. And when they, he went into a clinical study, they scanned his spinal cord, he had a big disc you know, intervertebral disc pressing on his spinal cord. So he didn't have progressive disease, he had another pathology. And so based on that case and another series of cases, I always think somebody who's entering a progressive phase needs to have another scan just to make sure there's nothing else causing it. But I think the real uh, point you're making there is uh, monitoring. And I think that if you're on a disease modifying treatment, you need to have a scan at least every 12 months. Simply because uh, most of the disease activity in multiple sclerosis occurs beneath the surface of the water, it's like an iceberg. And so for every relapse you have, there's 10 or more lesions that come and go on your brain scan, and we know that these lesions cause damage. So under the microscope, they're uh, transecting or cutting nerve fibers, and there's ongoing damage. So one of our um, uh, strategies is if you, we do pick up subclinical, you know, these relapses that are occurring with not having obvious symptoms, and that would be an indication that the treatment's not working, and we'd want to escalate your treatment or change your treatment to another class of drug and uh, give you a chance to work. So in our centre, um, people on a disease-modifying treatment would have uh, MRI scans done every year. Uh, there are indications in very rare situations to do them even more frequently. So there's a drug called natalizumab or Tysabri, and if you've have a virus in you called the JC virus, it puts you at risk of developing this brain infection called PML, progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy, a big term, but it's a very serious condition. And so some people do so well on Tysabri, they don't want to stop the drug, and if they're at risk of it, then we do scans every three months, and those scans we're doing every three months is to pick up the PML if it does occur early, so we can stop the therapy. Because uh, it's been qu quite clear now that when you pick up the uh, infection in the brain in the so-called asymptomatic phase before people have symptoms of the infection they're doing a lot better than if you wait for them to become symptomatic so the question then is yes we do scans depending on the need it can be up every three months but usually it's every year in people with the disease and are there any health implications of having more than one scan a year no because this is a magnetic technique and all it does is it magnetizes the water molecules in the brain and relaxes them so it's it, the MRI itself has not been shown to be damaging. We are using a contrast agent uh, called gadolinium and this actually picks up whether or not there's leakage in the blood brain barrier and so if you've got a new inflamed lesion the blood vessels leak and the gadolinium goes through and it shines up on a white blob on a certain scan. Um, there's some theoretical uh, reason that if you have get too much gadolinium over many, many years, it can accumulate in the brain, and we're not sure if it causes damage or not, so there is a little bit of concern. I think the jury's out on that, though. We just need to wait to see what the trials show, but we're not using gadolinium that much uh, in, in the annual scans, and so um, you know, we are continuing to use gadolinium uh, annually, but I suspect in the future we may drop that particular component. I think that's where the, the potential risk is associated with the gadolinium, not the MRI studies itself.